and a high school football team in the spotlight. Students for, from the California School for the Deaf are winning on and off the field. The Fremont School is 9-1 after a victory tonight over a hearing team from Woodland in Yolo County. KTV's Amber Lee live now in Fremont where the players at the School for the Deaf got some national exposure on ESPN. Amber. Julie, the Eagles won a blowout tonight, 43 to 0. And I had a chance to speak with a deaf player and the head coach with the help of an interpreter. Thursday night lights with the Eagles, a team with all deaf players and coaches, playing against a hearing team from the Sacramento area, the Woodland Christian. The Eagles say they're no different than players who can hear. One deaf player says he sees no limit. I mean, people look at us as a disability, but really we're not. We are, uh, we're, we're, it's considered disability, but we're not. But in one sense, they are different in the way they communicate with each other. An unspoken language of gestures, signaling a bond among brothers. Teamwork. Uh, we have to work hard with each other. Uh, we have to have that bond in order to have that common goal. When the referee blows the whistle, the Eagles can't hear, but their experience comes into play. And the players on the opposing team signals the Eagles. They know to raise their hands when the play stops, and uh, our boys usually have that gut instinct, that sense inside, but with that football experience, it's something you can't teach. Lessons learned on the field include confidence, teamwork, and overcoming challenges. The Eagles are in the national spotlight. ESPN aired their game live, in part because of their stellar record, nine wins and one loss, including this game, and the Eagles' unique ability to communicate. If you watch them, they, they just play like anybody, any, any hearing person. The team hopes their ability to play the game well speaks volumes. We're just like anybody else. I mean, the only thing we can do, we can't do, is hear. I mean, you can, you can learn, you can do anything. The Eagles have one more regular season game to go. They are expected to make the playoffs. Julie? Well, story, they are so inspiring and just the way that they, I mean, they'll remember this experience for the rest of their lives and inspire people along the way. Amber, such a great well, story. They, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, they were telling me they're super excited with the national coverage, but they're focused on this game. Oh, good for them. Amber, thank you.